All right, crew down Ramon's house of math. I'm like a kid with a new toy. Uh, here we go. Look what I got. Look what I got. So apparently simple subtraction is finished. So uh, lovely cover. You can tell this is going to be book three in the series. First one will be games and activities. That'll be green. And then there'll be a orange one, which will be addition. And then this one, which is already done. And multiplication. And then will be division. And there'll be more fractions and decimals and percents and algebra and all kind of fun stuff is coming. So this was done. I scribble on paper and then my friends here, Andrea and Sonia, uh, who I've never met <laughs> in person, uh, turned my scribbles into a lovely work of art here. This book is beautiful in full color. You can print it as a PDF. You can print it in black and white if you want to and then have your kids color it. That can be fun. Um, you can do it however you want. It's got links to the videos. So you can, if you don't understand something, go watch the video because a lot of times when it's on paper, it's confusing, but then you watch it on video and it's easy. And I recommend you get your blocks out. And the way this is going to work, of course, is you give me your email address. I send you the book. Simple as that. So first start off, we start off with units and then we move up to tens and hundreds. Why not throw some X in there? Algebra is mystifying to children. 7X minus 4X. Shouldn't the X change? The X doesn't change. We're just talking about 0, 0 and the symbols here. And if they've seen this since they're kids, those kind of errors of thought are completely, you know, avoided. Put the algebra in immediately. Can't stress that enough. Anyhow, so here we go. We're going to get, right, playing with add-ins instead of counting backwards. No frogs in a staircase. No counting backwards. No f missing your place on fingers. We're just going to add add-ins. So practice building your add-ins. Build nines and tens. Build them all, not just nines and tens, but emphasize nines and tens. There's 45 add-ins. I have pages and pages about add-ins, and uh, you should take a look at those pages and practice add-ins because those will make math easy for your children. More video on what to do if you have enough or if you don't have enough. And again, degree of difficulty because 15 minus 3 is just as easy as 150 minus 30. We're just talking about bigger pieces, right? And now we can add in units and work on problems like this. Right? And once we get two down, we can do three. Once we get three, we can go to four. And you'll see that in just a second. So first, understanding the concept. What are we doing? If I have enough, then yeah, I just take that six out of the nine. I'm done. But if I don't have enough, I need to talk to the ten. And rather than, quote unquote, use up this five, we're just going to slide this block over. This is all it is, the million dollar idea where we take this and make it easy. Now I can see that this is just 7 plus 3 plus 5. Broken the number up. And they can see that, oh, well, rather than doing all, just add the 3. Done. 5 and 3, 8. So I've got 14 here. 14 friends, and 8 of them leave. How many are left? 6 are left. Well, how do I figure that out? Well, let's just know that 8 needs 2 more to be 10 plus the 4. There it is. So all I did was add 2 to the 4 to get 6. Simple. There it is again. 9 is really easy. And then talk about, oh, what happens when I have more than 110? Because a lot of times little kids think, well, 2 is less than 9. Well, 2 ones is less than 9 ones, but that 2 is in the 10s place. So I can borrow from that 2. And they can see it here and that it's easy. And then later on when I want to do it's still easy because I'll just take out one of those 10s and now it's the same thing. Practice makes it easy to understand so that they understand that, hey, those tens are just along for the ride and that all we're doing is using up one of those tens. And rather than borrow, we're just going to talk to one of the tens. So you don't see him talking about borrowing. Just add the add end. That's how I get nine here. And in this case, five and five is ten, so I get nine. And a kid might make up a rule. Well, then just add these two numbers. Oops, that won't work here. Right? So they have to do some thinking. Um... It's fun and easy to do math this way. I've had kids thank me for teaching them how to do subtraction this way. You know you can do all the math with addition and subtraction. It just takes a long time. But if you're having trouble with subtraction, isn't division going to be a problem too? All right, so here is more practice and more seeing what's going on here and how it works. And you get your blocks out and follow along, and it'll be easy. And if you don't understand, then you can click a button and watch a video. And I've got videos on the end of this also. And like I said, if you can do three digits, then you can do four. And look, that's all we're doing. What do we add? What do we add? I ask questions. What do we add? Right. So 
that three to that three to get six. Oh, wait, that's a four. Well, it's not a four anymore because I had to take out to get that one. And I had to, right? But you don't see us putting more than nine in one place because you can't have more than nine in one place in base 10 mathematics. Simple as that. So I can't take three from, from one. I can't take three from one, but I can take three from 11. So I take out, what, what does three need to be 10? Seven. So I get eight. Just add seven. I'm not going to count backwards. This makes it so fast and so easy. You just got to practice because to a lot of you, this is so foreign. You can barely wrap your mind around it. But if you just spend a little time I'm telling you, it makes it fast and easy because would you rather add or subtract? You'd rather add. Would you rather add big numbers or small numbers? You'd rather add small numbers. And these are just the add-ins. It's always just going to be add-ins, a single digit number. So here, I don't have enough. I just add one. Well, now that's a five because I took one out. So definitely, right, I have enough, but now it's only going to be two there. And now, oops, I don't have enough. So, right, okay. So you got to do the thinking. And don't just, right, because some of these, it looks like there's going to be enough, but then it turns out there's not enough because we had to take one away. So think a little bit. And here we are up at the thousands. Easy. Look, there's a zero. And see, we always point out, there's the zero. Okay. Making change. Again, you can watch the video. Just make a nine, make a nine, make a ten. Oops, make a nine, make a nine, make a ten. Over here, we didn't make a nine because, oh, we're one less. And see, I wouldn't tell the kids about the one less thing. Let them figure out that, oh, it's going to be one less, that that's going to be nine. And if we were taking away from 80, that it would be seven. If we're taking away from 70, it would be 60. And if we take away from 50, it's going to be four, etc. But don't tell them that. Let them figure that out themselves. Give them a few problems where you have a zero over here and then find out what happens, right? What happens if this is a zero right there? All right. Oh, and then here, doing integers with no number line. Kids hate the number line. Trust me, kids hate the number line. They probably hate the number line more than they hate long division. And yet it's the number one way people teach integers and, it's, and it turns the kids off, I'm telling you. Now, here, and this will be fixed, and like I said, if you find any errata, just send me an email. Um, I saw another one while I was doing this, but I'm not going to mention it. But anyway, the uh, idea here that negative 10, if I'm in the whole 10 and I have 3, well, then I owe 7. So this part's correct. And you will see that if I change the numbers around, I put plus 3, minus 10, they still figure out that it's negative 7. So you're just changing the blocks around. It's not confusing. Changing the symbols around can be confusing. So here's a half seven, here's a O seven for the for the purposes of our book. For your blocks, you just flip it over and they can see. Well, if I owe 13 and I have five, I still owe eight. See the math in there? Yeah. And see where we're still using the add-in to figure out what's going on. And a little bit more explanation. You can watch another video on it, or another couple of videos on negative numbers, and it just makes it easy. And here's some problem solving to end the thing where you see, oh, if I have it written out like this, what do I do? And I still just zero, zero, and then later on we'll figure out about no fun, get back to one. But we got to understand subtraction in order to be able to do division, in order to be able to do problem solving, in order to be doing so many things. And it should be fast and easy, not where they're fumbling around with their fingers or trying to count backwards. Just add the add-in. Done. Fast. Easy. Here are more videos that it's, that, and we'll probably add more links to videos and web pages as time goes by. But people complain that there's too much information it gets overwhelming so here are just a few of the videos that cover subtraction all right send me your email address and i'll send you this oops get over here and i'll send you this just trying to bounce away for nothing just give me your email address and i'll send it to you um and then yes you'll be on an email list and maybe you'll get email from me but I guarantee you, you won't get a lot of email from me. But say I'm having a sale on passwords, probably something you'd want to know about. Or maybe I make another teacher training video. And I'll send you in links to information on that where normally you'd have to pay for that. But if you're on the email list, maybe you'll get it for free. Um, anyway, I plan there's all kinds of things. Once I have your email address, I can send you uh, information and stay in touch about the things that are going on at the House of Math. There's going to be more of these. There's going to be at least 10 of these before I'm done and uh, we should be able to kick these things out much faster because they had to set up the you know the graphics and so forth but now that's all set up and it should go much faster 
And if you saw the original that these guys work from, which were, you know, white pieces of paper with pencil marks <laughs> and my chicken scratch, and they turned it into this, these guys did fantastic work. Anyway, send me your email address, and I will give you this book for free, uh, Cruz and Ramones, House of Math. Dot com for more on addition, subtraction, games and activities, division, algebra. It's all there. This is subtraction. Get it if you want it. Just send me your email address. All right, crew down to for more.